Oh, I got a mic. I got a mic. I got a mic. He's coming. 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 Fish! 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 What is happening, y'all? Sorry for the delay and the old vlogging scene, but busy, busy with work, Christmas, holidays, and obviously, as many of you guys know, in southern Ontario, our ice situation has been absolutely garbage. It has been so on and off that to find a reliable sheet of ice to fish on has been pretty much near impossible but today's the day we are heading to Lake Simcoe Giggs and I which uh, he is also a fellow backlasher you guys haven't seen him too much he's usually too busy farming away so finally get to head out and fish with him so like I said we're heading up to Lake Simcoe we got a bunch of new electronics to try out we just got an aqua view for Christmas Giggs just decided to splurge and get the Garmin pan optics so that's gonna be super, super sweet. So we're, uh, our plan for today and I think for the next couple of days is to be targeting lake trout and whiteys. So I don't know, other than that, he's on his way now to come grab me. It's 4.28 in the morning, bright and early. Uh, we're gonna get out there and hit her hard all day long for the next few days. So, I don't know, we should get some sweet footage with the, the Garmin Pin Optics and hopefully we can get see some stuff on the Aqua View. Uh, but yeah, stick with us and uh, this is going to be a sweet one. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, 8.02, just catching sunrise right now, Giggs is getting the panoptics set up, so we're kind of going to be uh, having ourselves a learning curve uh, today just because this is both both our times, first times using the panoptics, but like I said we got the, the clam set up right now and this thing is unreal, six man, tons of room. Two, for two people, this is just ridiculous. Like, we're gonna have the most amount of room. And uh, other than that, we're just gonna get the pan optics set up, we're gonna get the buddy heater going, and then we're gonna get our lines right down. Hopefully we start marking some fish right away. All right. Oh, I'm Jazz. You ready? I'm pumped, let's go. We're ready, we're gonna get into some Lakers right away. Let's get this thing. All right, we're about an hour in. Like I said, <laughs> we are both pan optics beginners, so. We're slowly figuring out that at around 120 feet, if you're using like a four inch like tube jig or swim bait, that's honestly, that's pretty difficult to read. So we're figuring we couldn't even see our, like see the bait with the, just the pan optics itself. So we decided to go with like a split sonar pan optics view. So I'm gonna show you here. So we got sonar on the left, which allows you to read like where your bait's at and then pan optics on the right. Pan optics will allow you to see that fish come from a, like a wider distance, which the sonar doesn't really allow you to do. And but the sonar allows you to kind of read what your bait is doing, and if a fish comes to, it'll allow you to mark that. But kind of best of both worlds with the split screen of pan optics viewing the far distant angle, and then sonar reading the the bait itself. So that's what we're working with right now. We're in 126 feet. Uh, I think earlier we marked a couple, like a couple fish, we're assuming, that was just on the pan optics, and uh, oh, GoPro, yeah. and uh, so we're going to give her another like 45 minutes here, and if we don't mark anything, maybe move more towards the cluster of uh, huts, because there's, go there's a bunch, we'll track them down though, get on, we'll get alright, here we go. Spot number two. Just go. got set up. 
Honestly, that's not even that bad. We carried this big old six man shelter yeah. for a decent hundred, no, it was probably two, three hundred yards. Yeah, I'd say probably a hundred yards. Yeah, easily. hundred to two hundred. Yeah. And that, it only took about a half hour to move spots, get her all set up. We got her all set up now, buddy. Heater's gone, pan optics is good to go. We're sitting in. Time to get the backlash hat on. Oh, yeah. We got to uh, look at those bad boys. Brand yeah. new hats. Okay. Looking good. Let's go. But we're now in the time to land is some big old friggin' lake trout. We're here. in the lake zone now. Lake trout. We're in the zone. We're in 114. Still haven't marked anything, though. But she's coming. She's coming. All right, we just got our first first bite. Uh, no, what happened? <laughs> I, no. I, I marked one at about 105 feet and started reeling up on her really quick. And I got it to about, what was it, like 30 feet? Yeah. Hit at about like 30 feet, set the hook into her really nicely. And then there's one moving up right now. Uh, I, set the, I set the hook into it and my knot slipped. Yeah. So, our first fish after like five hours, I botched. Buddy. Huh? What is that? Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Real, 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 real. You got it. You got it. You got it. He's coming. 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 Yeah. Jeez. There we go. There we go. He's off. Oh, he's off. Oh, my God. He didn't get too many hooks in him, did he? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. I said it. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. No hooks. No hooks. That's him, isn't it? That's him right there. He's sinking. He's sinking. He's sinking. He's sinking. I, think I might be able to entice him. Oh. <laughs> We're all for two! That was heavy. And he's gone. Oh, Damn, mean, that's heavy. Man, that was a big mark. That was heavy. And he's gone. Day one. Complete. <laughs> <laughs> Copper all off. <laughs> We're back at the Airbnb right now. We uh, didn't end up getting a fish uh, today, but uh, honestly, a bunch of marks. I don't really know. Pretty quick, uh, pretty quick conclusion here. We hooked up on two, went over for two. Well, had a line slip on my part, and then I think the, the second one, like I said, just didn't get hooks for gigs. Uh, yeah, you missed the hook. Got yeah. everything but the hook. Yeah, just grabbed the tail end of the bait. Other than that, we probably had like March at least 15 to 20. Nothing wrong with that. I think tomorrow, like, there's going to be a little bit more consistency with the weather. I think tomorrow will be hitting like the second or third day where it's been pretty leveled out. So, yeah. Lake Trout like consistency. So, let's hope tomorrow all, all those marks are a little bit more hungry and we can get them. Uh, Braden's heading up here right now, um, and then so it's gonna be Giggs, me, Braden, and Sorzy, and then Sorzy's one buddy, and then another buddy of ours is coming up too. So, gonna be a big group of us tomorrow. So I highly doubt that between what five of us, yeah, it's at least five, five or six, of, five or six of us that we can't get a couple Lakers. So tomorrow's gonna be a good day. Got it in my, I got it in my bones right now. I can sense it. So uh, we gotta. We're probably gonna be up at like 5.30 tomorrow, bright and early. Hopefully have lines in by eight. No, not even earlier, seven, yeah, 7.30, sure. seven, yeah, yeah, quarter seven after seven. Yeah, never mind earlier, yeah. So, bright and early, we'll catch you then, and uh, until then, goalies go. Let's hope they take down Tampa here. Let's go. Hey boys, we're out on Lake Simcoe here, and uh, we got the Backlash Angling crew. And uh, well, we're not catching any Lakers. It's not good so far, but um, we're gonna get them, boys. We're gonna get them. What's going on with the barometer, though? The uh, barometer's shooting up high. Uh, they're just like muskies, these lake trout. They love the barometer shooting up high. Oh, yeah. What's the moon phase doing today, bud? Well, I think our major's coming in at about 115 to 315. Oh, what's that on the pan optics, boys? Nothing. Can't catch fish if you don't have the pan optics, I tell you. Man, gotta love it. <laughs> gotta love it, boys. You going back to your tent? I'm going back to my tent. Yeah. Right. Go catch a Laker. I got camera anxiety. <laughs>
this! Guys! Good? Is it blinking? On the screen? Sounds back down to the bottom. came off. <laughs> My drag was too loose. You got a, like a knife or something, like a sharp one, like for like, I don't know, like punctured, just jugular, like. <laughs> no joke, listen to this one. What happened? I'm talking to my dad, right? Cause he called me, so I missed call. I'll call him back or whatever. I'm just jigging away. I'm like, check my, check my tension or whatever. Check the drag. I'm like, all right, just, okay. So it's, it's counterclockwise when you want to do it, whatever. And tighten it back up. Yeah. And then he's just like, brings up angling outfitter and how he has this thing. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to pull the drag as soon as like, I like I don't want it on the phone so I like whatever I'm yeah, talking yeah. to fish 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 come chasing hard just like so hard like comes up so just right on me right on me right there boom boom set the hook feel it just like do that so I grab my drag set again because I knew it's too loose I knew I didn't get a good hook in them set again and then I'm reeling down reeling down I'm for about three seconds <laughs> Yeah, if that's the call. What I'm saying, I don't know. I don't know what what's been going on in the hut lately, but oh. Yo, your line, your line. Set him good. I don't think he's too big, but he chased it. He was hungry. Man, they head bog, and every time they head bog, it feels like they're gonna come off. Yeah, he's not big. There's the leader.
Gap, 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 gap. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's that's not a bad fish. Not bad. All right, here. That's we're gonna we're gonna bring it into the. That's my best laker, 100%. All right, so I'm out there jigging right now in 100 and, uh, 116 feet. I had, was the one that I hooked up on the one, uh, obviously you'll see that earlier in the video, and it came off right at the hole. I think it got hooked right by the hole. And then I was talking to my dad on the phone and I had one just rocket after me and I was messing around with my drag and I didn't even have time to change it before uh, I got, I was, before I even hooked up on the other one, so that was my bad. So I missed that one, and then finally, finally, I saw this one just rock it up. And I'm telling you right now, on Simcoe, you'll tell your marks between the the ones that want it and the ones that don't want it. And this one was on my tube jig in no time, like absolutely no time, and just rock it up, straight up retrieve, boom, about 45 feet of water, smoked it, fought me like crazy, beautiful. Look at the colors on that thing. That's a fat fish. That is. Like that's a fat laker. It's only probably, I don't know, 28 inch, you think? Yeah, right around there. 26, I'd say 26 to 28, but it's fat. It's probably a six pounder. Right on. We're gonna get her back in and then get back her, get back to jigging. She's gonna, you're gonna be able to see her all the way down here. There she goes. You're on? Oh, yeah, I'm on. oh, I just booked her. <laughs> I booked her. I had a ton of them fighting for it. I oh couldn't my believe God. it, man. I showed up and there was three of them looking at my bait. I'm dying. <laughs> oh, he's there. All in. Oh. Nice stalker. I haven't seen many stalkers. Nice fish, though. Oh. Nice smash. Nice boys. Oh. Got it? Man, just ate it on the way down, man. I dropped it and it was going with it. Like this the my bait and the mark were the same mark. So you say going mark? down, going down, going down. She was on it. And hard. my wine just stops coming out of my bit like out of my reel. Sure. Come right into them, smoke them. Trying to sound like an idiot here, oh, but that's right, boys. Oh. Here, bring it outside. Yeah. And then I'll get some. I might give her 20 more minutes. <laughs> I had four of them down there looking at it. Oh, I just booked it like 20 yards. <laughs> 200, oh, yeah. 200 yards, so he hooks up. That's a beauty. What? Seven pounds? Eight yeah, pounds? Seven, eight pounds. 100%. Yeah. Here. And then show an outro, yeah. All right, so we're going to do an outro and then we're going to throw it right into an intro. That's right. All right, so to cap off yesterday's day, we ended up getting one Laker, obviously. Chase went one for 30. One for. <laughs> One for three. And for the rest of us didn't even have a snap. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah, just no, a great, a fun day. great day all around. I'm glad we got one. Hopefully, you never know. We're so we're doing. I I, I can't even talk about today yet because it's still the outro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, quality day. Uh, we got some good rest yesterday. Got some A and W, so that was solid. And yeah. uh, a couple double matzo burgers. Yeah. Now we're about to. Welcome to a <laughs> new episode of Back. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, San Diego.